Hey what's up, welcome back. So for today's video I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. And to achieve this look I'm going to be using a Foxy Bay hair wand. So the wand I'm using today is a rose gold titanium. So straight up my alley. Anything that's rose gold I'm like, yes, I will have one of each. Even if I don't know what it is, I want it. So the rose gold titanium, it helps create the longest lasting curl, which my hair definitely needs because it's quite straight and the curls don't usually hold too well in my hair. And also what I really, really like about this is it comes with three different ones. So obviously the smaller one's going to create the tightest curl, the bigger one is going to create a looser curl. So if you were someone who has like probably longer hair than mine, because my hair is quite short, but if you are someone who has longer hair, you can kind of mix and match and use different ones to create different types of waves throughout the hair. Uh, I'm going to use the middle one today because I think that one's just, my hair is too short for this one because that's going to go probably too curly. But I'm more so just going for a wave, so I'm just going to use the middle size. So you can see here, it switches on here. And then you have an up and a down. So basically what this does is you can adjust the temperature to your own needs, whatever you need it to be. Because some people's hair can take a lot more heat than others. So it's good to be able to control the heat that you use. A lot of hair ones just like go on and off. So that's what I like about these since they have like a control to it. I'm going to set mine for like 390. So this is Fahrenheit. So which is probably around like one, I think it's around like 190 um, Celsius. So I've just sectioned my hair like so. So I'm gonna start um, putting a wave into these parts first. Take this section first. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the wand, going away from my face. So we're just gonna put a bend in it. So see, you have that little wave. Now take the next section. And the same thing, except I'm going to come towards my face here. So I like to kind of alternate in how I wrap it. Because if I wrap it all the one way, it's going to go all the one way. So if you alternate between like wrapping it this way and wrapping it that way, you get like more of like a, like a dimension through the hair. I don't know if that makes sense, but more, what's the word I'm looking for? More of a, I don't know if that's the word, but you know what I mean. And you want to keep the ends quite straight because like a beachy hair, they're not like really curled at the ends of the hair. You want it more just to be that kind of like shaggy kind of wave effortless look. Whereas the ends on that are usually more of a straight, maybe a slight bend, but not a curl. So again, just alternate between alternate directions. So I'm going to bring this one forward. because this one's gonna be going back anyway. So this, see this bit here? It's just cause my hair snapped, it's a little bit shorter. I'm not gonna do anything with that right now until the end and I'll see kind of how it's gonna fit in. So once you have that bit done, you don't wanna comb it out or do anything to it yet. Just leave it as it is and as it cools down, it holds the curl and it kind of sets that way. So if you brush it out too soon, the curl's not going to hold the way you want it to hold. So we just took down our next section and we're going to do the exact same thing again. So any of the pieces around the face, I always like to do them away from the face because sometimes they can fall in and it kind of, it's more annoying, it doesn't really sit right. So if you do these front pieces always away from the face, it always sits so much nicer. Just wrapping it around, couple of seconds and then let go. Gonna alternate direction. And let it go. And again, just leaving them and let them cool down themselves. Now, when we get to the top bit, I'm just going to take a section at the back. So about that much at the back. 
So I'm going to do all this bit now in one go and I'm just going to roll it around. So all that's going to like go back that way. So it's going to sit the way it is. Don't worry about the way it like it's going up like that. That doesn't matter but it's all going back that way. So it's going to be easier for it to like stay that way. I usually do this bit last because I don't know what way it's going to sit. Because I don't have a specific pattern for my hair or anything like that. It usually just sits kind of whatever way it wants. So I'm just going to pull my fingers through my hair. Well that gave me way more volume than I usually get. And I am not mad at it. So I'm just going to mess around with my hair and then see what kind of way it's going to part. So I didn't end up curling any of this side of it because it's too short and it would just end up like going too wavy and sticking out. So I just kind of left the top bit here because that's usually what I do. I don't usually do anything to that because it just kind of sits its own way anyway. But that is pretty much how I go and get these soft beachy waves that I've been wearing in my hair the last while. And the good thing about this hairstyle is it, it kind of gets better as you wear it like after like two days if you don't want to wash your hair it just kind of like does its own thing and it stays like this so it's honestly the easiest hairstyle to have like long hair short hair i honestly think it's the easiest style of hair you can have anyway i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i will also leave a link to the wand down below and i also have a discount code which is lola and that gives you 150 dollars off and i will see you in the next one